I took a week off. I think he knew it. I apologize if you look forward to this new segment every single week. In fact, actually, there was quite a bit of things happening, including, well, I joined another podcast. Yes, as if you've already heard enough of my voice, but we're it's actually going to be with the Alliance of Independent Authors. Uh, also, uh, Barnes & Noble uh, Press, as well as Apple, want to warn you about uh, deadlines, even Ingram Spark as well. And the biggest news rolling out comes through the folks over at Findaway Voices, AKA Spotify. Actually, there's about four pieces of news when it comes to that, and it's not so good. And uh, man, that's that's not, doesn't set well with me, but I'll go ahead and express a little bit more about that in the self-publishing news for October the 30th of 2023. Let's jump right on into things. Of course, this broadcast is brought to you by the folks over at Dibley Create. Harness human and machine intelligence for limitless creativity, boosted productivity, and authentic content with Dibley Create. Head on over and get access to my preferred tool for writing. When you go over to dailinks.com slash Dibley Create, you can get yourself set up with a free or premium account. And by the way, they're right now offering the professional account for free for seven days. So you can get all the details about that. dailinks.com slash Dibley Create. First item up in the news, or the first few items actually are going to be coming from the standpoint of, look, folks, it's getting holiday season already. I know it's crazy. Tomorrow's Halloween already. Where the heck did our year go? Well, Barnes & Noble Press says, uh, bypass potential delays and avoid the holiday rush by ordering your books before the following dates. If you want to get hardcovers, order November 17th of 2023 and paperbacks November 24th of 2023. Um, there has been a little bit of some feedback from within my community, especially over in Discord. I've been hearing that there's been some huge hardcover distribution delays uh, through the Amazon platform. And unfortunately, I don't have any insights or insider intel about this. I will let you know if I do find out anything more when it comes to those excessive delays. I mean, it's we're talking like they're saying if you order it now, it comes in January, which is absurd crazy maybe you might want to consider doing barnes and noble press instead all right let's move over to apple connect uh, apple books for authors if you will they have the holiday season delivery schedule if you plan on releasing a book in apple books between november 27th and january 2nd remember to check the following delivery deadlines the release date you must do November 27th. You have to have the delivery deadline by November the 13th. If you want the release date on December the 11th, you must have it by November 27th. For December 18th, it must be in there December 4th. December 26th must be by December the 11th. And January 2nd, it must be by December the 12th. A lot of that has to do, I'm sure, with staffing and being able to handle all of those support tickets. So... And Ingram Spark, of course, wants to let you know about recommended order dates for holiday demand. All right, United States orders, hardcover and paperback order by November the 24th. UK order dates, hardcover by November 24th, paperback by December 1st. Australia, November 24th for hardcover and paperback by December the 1st. So this is that time of year, folks. You need to make sure that you're planning out as much as possible. So if you are planning to launch a book during the holiday season, plan well in advance. Get all of the author proof copies and all the you know, copies that you're going to want to sell available. Like get it now because it's going to get pretty crazy and it gets almost just out of hand. Kind of crazy. What's not out of hand, though, is the fine folks over at Later Press. Look, folks, they actually are always sharing some great information when it comes to the world of self-publishing. I'm subscribed to their newsletter. Nate Gillick does a fantastic job of putting together some of the pieces. And you can learn a new way to publish your eBooks when you visit LaterPress.com. That is not a sponsored spot. I figured I'd go ahead and share that here with you folks. Uh, the piece. Hang on a second. <laughs> Then we're going to have to skip forward here on a piece of news here. This actually is going to rope in. The uh, No Fakes Acts wants to protect actors and singers from unauthorized AI replicas. This is the Nurture Originals Foster Art and Keep Entertainment Safe Act of 2023. How it works is it standardized rules around using a person's faces, names, and voices. It prevents the production of digital replica without the consent of the applicable individual or right holder. It's getting out of hand. It's kind of crazy all these deep fakes that are rolling out. I mean, I think Joe Rogan was one example where someone just made a complete deep fake of them and uh, so now at this point it looks like they're going to be putting something in you know in but into law that eventually you could probably get into some serious hot water over all right 
Moving further forward in the news. And by the way, all these uh, links to some of these posts, you can go ahead and take a look inside the show notes. Speaking of show notes, hey folks, I am excited and very happy to announce to you that I'm a part of the Alliance of Independent Authors as of this month. And I actually will be producing a monthly podcast called Reaching More Readers with my co-host, Holly Greenland. Holly actually uh, manages the blog for the Alliance of Independent Authors. We'll be having this the last Friday of every month on the Ally podcast. So I am really, really excited. But this particular episode, we dove deep into the world of book marketing and how there's no magic bullet. There's no cure or exact thing that's going to work for everybody. In fact, Holly and I just talk a little bit more about that inside the podcast. So make sure you go on over, subscribe to the Ally podcast. So that way you get to actually hear not just my voice, but you can hear somebody else's voice along with it, which by the way, Holly is just a gem. She was fantastic in the first episode there with me. Hey, if you are looking into getting some book covers, you might want to do it in the next 24 hours uh, because on Get Covers, they are doing a special deal for 20% off your spooky book cover design, October the 31st. If your genre is horror, post-apocalyptic, suspense, thriller, cozy mystery, or dark fantasy, use the coupon code TREAT20, that's two zero, TREAT20 at checkout to claim your discount. And that is good till October the 31st. So if you're hearing this on the audiobook podcast a little late after that, my apologies. You can also visit my affiliate link at dailylinks.com slash get covers. That would greatly help support this channel. And don't forget, use that TREAT20 coupon. The folks over at Kobo just rolled out something really cool. So they have a service called Kobo Plus, and it essentially is like KDP Select, where you can enroll your ebook or your audiobook into the Kobo Plus program. And the Kobo Plus program, the nice thing is it's there's there's no exclusivity required. No. It's non-exclusive. You can put it into this subscription-based service and get a percentage of that profit based on how much is consumed of your content. So Kobo Plus just launched out a new data dashboard here. Uh, latest features include at a glance overview for Kobo Plus, easy to use graph with minutes and earnings, map with data displayed by country and downloadable title level report. Uh, Kobo Writing Life is probably one of my favorite dashboards to work with in there. Uh, super clean, super simple. I think a lot more platforms could probably take some notes off Kobo Writing Life. Really love what they got going on over there. And big kudos to them for rolling out something cool for the Kobo Plus program. Hey, you know how I've always been saying, don't do your book covers yourself, especially if you're not a person who does graphic design. Well, the folks over at Reezy gives you proof how... A professional book cover can double your sales. This is insane. The experiment essentially worked to where they ran a bunch of ads on two different types of covers. One cover was DIY, like done by themselves. That was it. They weren't terrible. They actually were pretty good in some of their examples. And then the other ones, they had a professional cover designer. Here is how the stats are crazy, how there was so much more activity on the ones that were done by a professional cover designer. In fact, each of the genres include middle grade, where they saw a 24% improvement. Fantasy saw 164% improvement, which is absolutely incredible. And, and by the way, the cover that they did for the old cover, the DIY version, I, I thought it was good. <laughs> but the, the newer one did really well. Mystery, 89% improvement. For nonfiction, it was a 28% improvement. This is absolutely crazy. Memoir, it's 14% improvement. So this is just irrefutable proof that if you've been on the fence about getting a professional cover design, now you know what you could potentially be missing out on. So maybe consider hiring out for something like that or temper your, your expectations with the reality. Maybe get it to where you create your own cover, get enough sales, Hire a professional cover designer when you can get that type of funding. That way you can see a better conversion rate. All right. Find Away Voices is officially Find Away Voices by Spotify. Yes, Spotify had to get their name on something. And apparently they weren't happy with Find Away Voices just being Find Away Voices. So now it's Find Away Voices by Spotify. I'm sorry. I'm not going to say Find Away Voices by Spotify every single time. It sounds like it's a pay paid ad. 
But now, you, if you've probably noticed, there has been some things that have been rolling out from Find Away Voices that, uh, you know, I figured change was going to come. Spotify came and bought them up, and slowly the changes have been rolling out. And this was one of them. And I, I'm not against it. You know, kudos to them. They want to keep their branding up, and that way people can kind of see that they really mean business when they got into the audiobook publishing industry. And they furthermore, this is a big shout out to longtime follower Linda Naughton. Linda sent me an email, and I didn't get this this email at all. But uh, essentially, Find Away Voices is doing away with the market. Marketplace. In fact, it's pretty much like going to be gone officially as of December 1st. If you try to look for the marketplace, it will be redirected to findawayvoices.com. You get questions about that. You look it up online. You click on it to marketplace. It goes right over findawayvoices.com. It does not go to the marketplace anymore. So, man... <laughs> Rest in peace, Marketplace. You didn't last long. I mean, this was probably up for maybe a year, a year and a half. It wasn't very long at all. And the Marketplace worked like this, where you could actually find some narrators for your audiobooks and uh, work with them that way. And so a lot of people want to know, like, okay, Marketplace is shutting down. What do I do? The very first thing I would do if I were you, you're working with a current narrator, track them down. I don't know if there's a way that you can communicate directly with them to get them off platform, but just pretty much express to them like, hey, I want to continue to work with you. Is there any way to contact you? Now, if you can't communicate that through any type of direct messages or via uh, anything through the uh, Find Away Voices Marketplace, then you're going to need to do some deep dive research. Find where they might have a website. Look them up on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a great place to find somebody and get them direct messages. Uh, as far as any other marketplaces that you can consider, ACX has got a great marketplace. The problem is you got to work through ACX in order to get that. You could probably find an audiobook narrator though and find them off the platform and see about working with them away from ACX. I'm doing a little bit more research when it comes to some good audiobook narration services. I would recommend go check out the Alliance of Independent Authors watchdog list. Fantastic list. Just go in there and type in audiobook. That's it. Wait for it to come back and it'll show you all of the different services that are recommended, approved, and even some cautionary or warning advice on some of the audiobook platforms. But there are some services that are available through there that you can check out in the interim. I'm going to keep an eye out. I know that there are a couple of different narrator platforms. I just need to find out which ones are good and legit and reliable. So, And we're not done with the Find Away Voices news because they actually are rolling out a new feature feature for Spotify premium analytics. So if for some reason you are distributing to Spotify by way of Find Away Voices, you can now see a week by week overview of how much of your audiobook has been streamed. And the last time that we did the news segment, I had shared that this Spotify distribution, this premium option for premium subscribers on Spotify, where they can get access to over 150,000 audiobooks, and you end up getting paid for the amount that is streamed. Now, how much is that going to be? Don't know. In fact, I even reached out to Find Away Voices for comment, and they're like, they don't know either. They don't know that we won't know until January, in fact, for this current month that we're in. So it's going to be a lot of a delay for us to even understand how much is that going to equate to. And here's the thing. If you select Spotify, it's an all or nothing situation. So you can have a la carte sales, meaning that someone just goes and outright buys your audiobook on Spotify. But you also have to have it enrolled in the Spotify premium program, meaning that you have no way to remove yourself from this. And this is the perfect time for me to segue over into a very concerning piece here where uh, this is covered by The Guardian, probably not the pinnacle of all great things when it comes to uh, you know um, journalism, but this is a good piece. You definitely want to read it. Spotify's new audiobook streaming could have devastating effect, says Society of Authors. The industry body says the music giant's move to make more than 150,000 titles available has not been discussed with authors and may compete with sales. So um, let me go ahead and just give you the TLDR, and I'll give you a couple of different little clips here from this particular article. Essentially... They're addressing the fact that Spotify has quite a storied history of paying their creators an absurdly low amount. Their creators being 
the folks that are musicians that are distributing through there. And they're just getting paid cents on the dollar for each one of these streams. And this was the part that I was most concerned about. I was excited to get that distribution to Spotify premium, but I'm more reluctant now that I don't know, like, what's that going to look like? What What's that global pool going to look like? Where is it going to be? How much are going to get from each one of these things? And so the one thing this piece brings up is that the streaming of audiobooks competes directly with sales and is even more damaging than music streaming because books are typically only read once while music is often streamed many times. That's pretty crazy. I just, wow. As far as we are aware, no authors or agents have been approached for permission for such licenses and authors have not been consulted on license or payment terms. Publishing contracts differ, but in our view, most licenses given to publishers for licensing of audio do not include streaming. In fact, it's likely that streaming was not a use that had been invented when such contracts were entered into. So because it's an all or nothing philosophy, We've got two specific paths on this one. You can continue to do the audiobooks, have it distribute to Spotify premium, wait it out, see what it looks like at the beginning of 2024, and then make that informed decision. Okay, am I making enough sales on Spotify to justify leaving it up for the premium service? Or do I need to remove it? I did kind of politely indicate to the Find A Way Voices support uh, staff like, it might be a good idea for you to give us two options of being able to select whether or not we want to have the premium service and the sales. Because to me, I would just much rather have just the sales alone if I see that I'm not drawing enough money. Because if I'm not drawing enough money through Spotify premium, I'm just going to go ahead and have to delist it. And unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to go away from Spotify, which is a real bummer because I've been very bullish and very excited about the direction of this business, especially having something refreshing. And now I've literally just had the wind cut out of my sail. Just literally, they just cut it right down the middle. And it was just like, oh, okay, that wasn't cool. But here we are. It's the reality of the situation. So stay tuned to this channel. I'll be able to give you more insights when I do have them roll out. Fine folks over at Lulu want to give you game-changing creator insights for 2024. Get Lulu's new creator report. Did you know that while celebrity influencers might rack up millions of followers, most content creators need about 4,000 fans to sustain their business? It's true. That's one of the insights we discovered from our research conducted in partnership with The Tilt. Grab all our findings, including, including tips for growing your content business and our creator insights to earn more in 2024. That is a free downloadable report. There is no subscription necessary, folks. I went ahead and put a link inside the show notes as per usual. What did you think about some of those pieces of news? Was there anything relevant that I might have missed over the past couple of weeks? We're going to be taking a brief one-week hiatus next week from the self-publishing news, but I will be back in the week after next and get you guys updated. Now, if for some reason something emergency pops up, obviously I'll pop on here and share a little bit more details. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale. And I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Special shout out to my channel members for both the podcast channel and the main channel. Without your support, some projects we do at Self-Publishing with Dale would be much harder to fund. If you want to contribute to the cause, visit dalelinks.com slash memberships for details and get your on-screen shout out at the end of each broadcast. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale and I'll see you soon.